Thank you very much indeed. Hello, good evening and welcome. Hello, good evening and welcome. Hello, good evening and welcome, someone once said to the... He was one of the first people to become famous just by being on television. His catchphrase even made the dictionary of quotations. Good evening in England and bonsoir from Paris. Fresh out of Cambridge and just 23, he was already presenting programmes for ITV. Within months, he was fronting That Was The Week That Was, a groundbreaking satirical show for the BBC. And it reads, Civil Defence. The man who hands you this card is an air raid warden. Do not be alarmed, lie down and do exactly as he tells you. Mississippi, it's the state you've got to choose Where we hate all the darkies and the Catholics and the Jews TW3 was shockingly irreverent. It made David Frost's name. For the next few years, he alternated as a satirist and a serious interviewer. He and a studio audience grilled the fraudster Emil Savandra. By selling out, I have no legal responsibility and no moral responsibility. No moral You have, you have no total moral responsibility for your all you. these people. This too was groundbreaking stuff. They called it trial by television. He became a globe-trotting playboy, crisscrossing the Atlantic. Will you welcome, please, Mr. Truman Capote? <laughs> Will you welcome Miss Jane Fonda? <laughs> Former Vice President Hubert Humphrey. He presented a show five times a night in America, as well as once a week in Britain. His reputation was sealed in 1977 when he interviewed Richard Nixon about his career and about Watergate. So now, that is obstruction of justice? Now, just a moment. Period. Uh, that's your conclusion. It is. Uh, but now let's look at the facts. After I hours of like grilling, he finally uh, coached an apology out of the disgraced say. president. I let down my friends. I let down... the country. Interviewing Nixon was a hard act to follow. He helped launch TVAM, one of its famous five presenters. Hello, good morning and welcome to TVAM. The launch was a fiasco. He presented ITV's Through the Keyhole. The show that delves in the shelves, looks at the books and explores in the drawers of the noted and noteworthy. Frost, the formidable interrogator, was becoming Frost, the collector of celebrities. He could still be persistent, as when quizzing Mrs. Thatcher about the sinking of the Belgrano in the Falklands War. I mean, that, the fact that it was going in a completely different direction, it wasn't, as he said, closing in. Do you know, ships do zigzag. Yeah, but it didn't zigzag. But ships do change direction. Yeah, but it that didn't. ship it didn't, though, did, did it? change direction. On that day, when the government said it changed direction many times, it only changed direction once to go back home and a 10 degree difference to get closer to a Argentina. A ship is torpedoed on the base. And he could still here. wrong foot interviewees with a deceptively simple question. I mean, do you pray together? Pray together? Hmm. How, how do you mean? Do you say prayers together for peace? You and the President? Well, we don't say prayers together, no, but I'm sure he, in his way, hopes for peace and I hope for peace too. At the BBC, as at TVAM, and then latterly at Al Jazeera, the big names queued up to be interviewed. Few interviewers had such an impressive guest list, a tribute to Frost's own fame and to his skill.